Okay, yin, yang, breathing. I'd sort of not bothered with this because we were getting the energies from doing the first six element set, which is Earth Strange, which is for the extraordinary vessels. And one of the things that I definitely want to keep is the yin, yang, strike. So change of state, gain energy, mess your opponent, bang, send them across the room, which is amazing. We got that from this breathing technique, but now we're getting it from the exercises. Now we've got the six sets of six done. I'm looking at doing each set as a breathing technique. So if you're ill, broken, injured, you can still do it all through the breath. So this is the old sheet. I'll give you a quick look. I'm going to have to explain it in more details. So, imagine cutting yourself into quadrants. So you're cutting yourself at the belt, you're cutting yourself down your centre line, and from the side, you're cutting yourself in half, so you've got a front and a back of the body. Imagine that yin is black, yang is white. So you're going to get black and white parts of you. So, for instance, Bottom half of your body from the waist down, imagine it black as yin. Top half of your body, including the arms, yang white. Front of the body, yin. Back of the body, white, yang. Right side of the body, yin. Black. Left half of the body. Cutting down the centre line, including the arms and legs. Yang white. So, if a quick way of remembering it is the front of your right leg is black. So that's front, bottom and side. So that tells you everything. Front of your right leg is black. And then you can reverse engineer the rest of it. So the breathing techniques. We're going to breathe in through the right foot and breathe out the left foot. And then do it the other way, in the left, out the right. And do that until you think you've had enough energy. And then do it with the hands, in the right hand, out the left hand. In the left, out the right. Now we're going to breathe in and out the right side of the body. So you know where your centre line is, you know the right side of your body, so just take everything on the right, including your arms, legs and your head, and breathe in, and then breathe out. Do that a number of times. Then we want to switch to the other side. You can alternate them, or you can do a number on, on one side, and then a number on the other sides, but basically you're breathing in on the right side and the left side of the body. Okay, then we want to do the bottom and the top, same thing. Start with the bottom, breathe in, breathe out. Number of times, top half of your body, including the arms and the head. Then the front half of the body. Then the back half of the body. So basically the body breathing bits, we start with yin first. So we start with the right side, we start with the bottom half and we start with the front half. And that's it. That should charge up the extraordinary vessels and give you this ability, bang! to change state from yin to yang as you turn and generate energy for strikes. And I should imagine it's good for you, for longevity, for healing, for all the rest of it. Um, now I need to do breathing techniques for all six sets. I think we've got most of them. The only one missing is earth body and that set is to 
energise the internal organs to stop disruption. So when somebody does this, or somebody punches down, or you attack the, the, the spleen or the gallbladder with various techniques, then you protect it. Um, so it limits what the other guy can do, whether he knows pressure points, whether he knows disruption, it doesn't matter. If he's good at fighting, he'll have a technique that works for him. And it's probably 99% a disruptive technique. Because it works. So now when he hits you, it'll bounce off. Brilliant self-defense, because you don't have to do anything other than exercises. Doesn't mean you're immune from everybody. Because you'll always get these idiots that think they know Qigong and take on a cage fire and get the big Jesus kicked out of them. The arrogance. If you want to take on a kickboxer, one. Or a cage fighter, big bone, one. Learn how to cage fight. Then add your chi energy and pick on somebody your own age. Because why on earth should anybody think a cage fighter doesn't do Qi Kung. They don't call it Qi Kung, they call it physical exercise. And a lot of what they do, and I've demonstrated it in other videos, a lot of what they do will generate increased energy flow, especially in the bladder meridian, and enhance their resistance to Qi. So you get a normal student, you can do horrendous things. Somebody that's trained and got a little bit of brain power, because you've got to be crazy to be a, a case fighter, and that's energy in itself. You've got to have a big heart, that's energy in itself. You've got to have the guts, that's energy. Thank you very much.